Are you wondering how to set up your clearly filtered pitcher? We have this one right here, and I've done the first step, which is soaking your filter. And what's really neat about these clearly filtered pitchers is that the entire uh, filter fits into the bottom part here, and you can use the top part to kind of hold it down to keep it submerged while it's soaking in the water. So that's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes, but I wanna go through everything that it takes to do this uh, setup for you guys. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And well, this company sent to me and I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So, oh, one thing that I wanted to mention before we get into the setup is that this company's uh, stuff comes with a lifetime warranty. As you guys know, I love products with a lifetime warranty. I review tons and tons of products about this. So I always tip a hat to a company who stands by their product with a lifetime warranty. I think that that is amazing. Now, getting into the setup instruction, like I said, it's like a four-step process or so. They actually outline it very quickly right here in the instruction manual, but it's a little bit different from some of the other water filters that I've used in the past because it's got this weird thing. What the heck is this? I was wondering the same thing whenever I got it because I opened the box and I opened it up. I was like, I've never seen something like this before. And I was trying to figure it out without reading the instructions what this thing is used for. And uh, this is to use as your flush, which I want to show you guys right now because that's step two. I've let this run for 10 minutes. So let me see, let me bring you guys down on over to here. And we are going to, uh, let's see, let's see how this pours. Nice pour out of there. Got a nice arc. Can y'all see that coming out of there? So that actually would work, it's gonna work really well. Especially if you have uh, like a big container, it, it comes out very fast too. That's very, I'm assuming though, once you put the lid on there, which is what this is, I took it off so that I could get the filter in there and whatnot, um, you, uh, it, it might slow it down a little bit because there's not as much air. But this is our filter right here. Finish dumping that out there. And the way this thing works, the flush, is you simply take this and you screw it onto your filter, just like so. You want to get it on there nice and tight. It does a little arrow on there. It says off and this one on here says on to tell you which way to turn it. And then this right here is like this piece of rubber that's connected to it. And so, can y'all see it? You take this. Oh, y'all can't see that. Hang on. Let me move you guys down just a second here. There we go. All right. So you take this and you put it over this your sink faucet over the uh, rubber thing. And now it does say in the instructions that whenever you go to run your water, first of all, it says start off slow. So make sure you start off slow and then uh, make your way to about a medium. Uh, but once you get this on and you have the water flowing, it does say that some of the water is going to start spewing out over there. So you want to make sure that you're over a sink or you're over something that's going to catch the water. The water can be washed away or whatever. You could maybe do it outside or something like that, or maybe in a bathroom sink. Um, you just you want to have a basin underneath you is what I'm trying to get at. So I got that on there nice and tight. It seems to be nice and tight. Let's go ahead and this is my first time doing this. I'm going to put my hand down here in case it falls, and I'm going to turn on the water ever so slow. Uh, I think you have to hold it actually. Yeah, that's not gonna stay stay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, let's see, hold on. <laughs> Maybe I need to get it on there tighter. <laughs> My uh, sink faucet is kind of bulbous too compared to some of the others on the market. Let's try this again. Okay, nice and slow. There we go, now we're going through. I didn't have it on all the way. That was the issue. So they say that you want to flush this for about one minute. So we want to keep this here. That just fell off, okay. Let's see, I'm not too sure if that's supposed to come off or what. I'm gonna try it like this actually. Cause all you really want to do is you want to have the water going through there. You don't necessarily need this little rubber thing. And it says for about one minute, you want to let the water just kind of rush through here to kind of uh, filter out, get your first flush going through is what you're doing. Um, and then once you have that done, 
this blue ring thing on the top with the little rubber gasket. They say that you can either uh, save it for another filter if you plan on getting an, another one uh, whenever this one runs out. I, I'm a, I don't know if another one, another one of these things comes with it, but um, they, or they say you can recycle it as well. So you have two options there about what you want to do. All right, I'm gonna guess that that's been probably about a minute. We'll let the last little bit in here just kind of fall through, dripping down. And I'm going to now uh, take this thing off and just unscrew that. I'll go ahead and dump that. Now, once you have your uh, filter flushed out, you wanna take your basin right here. And just like how this, fil this part fit onto the top of here, this part just fits right onto the bottom here. You just simply screw it on just like that. Now, once you have that, you can put this over into your pitcher right here. If you wanna put on your back cap, you can, or I'm gonna leave it open. Actually, one thing I really like about this pitcher too is that this piece comes off and you can actually fit your pitcher in your sink and get it un over your uh, swan neck here so that you can get a full on blast of water as opposed to sometimes I have to use this thing and it just doesn't go as fast whenever you're using that. So uh, let's go ahead and let a little bit of water, I'm kind of curious to know how long it takes to filter uh, this water. And as you can see, I only put maybe two thirds of water in there so we can kind of get a really good idea of uh, what this pitcher does. And then I'd want it, I want to do a taste test of it with you guys if it doesn't take too long or if we can get some of the uh, water out of here um, while there's some in the top. I don't know how well that works. As you can see, this is definitely going, look, let me get a close up of this. It's definitely dripping a lot slower than most other filters do. And that's a good sign that you are getting some excellent filtration there. And I am really curious to see what this is gonna taste like. Cause I know from previous water filters that we've owned is that uh, those, uh, the drip is not that slow. It usually just kind of gushes through. I showed y'all in the previous video, whenever I did the unboxing of this, we have a Brita water pitcher. And it's like those elongated water pitcher filters that everybody knows about and they've seen, they just kind of drop them in there. The, the water seems to just go like, like a super fast through there. I never really understood. It didn't seem like it was getting as good of a filtration, but, um, but uh, I, apparently this thing, I think, this is what you need right here. This is what's gonna get you the good stuff. Now, um, I wanted to show you guys also, let's see, uh, what, this thing right here. I mentioned this in the other video too, and just to kind of uh, elaborate on the filtration of it, this gives you an idea of every single thing that it's trying to filter out of your water. Now, your city may not actually have some of these things in your water, but it just goes to let you know that you can almost take this thing with you anywhere in the world probably, and you're gonna get some good clean drinking water out of this. It takes out fluoride, it takes out perfluorinated, perfluorinated chemicals, chemical disinfectants, microplastics, prescription drugs and chemicals, uh, heavy metals, uh, herbicides, radiological elements, and then the list continues on the back here with vo uh, vo volatile organic compounds, VOCs, uh, semi-volatile compounds, pesticides, pesticides continue, and then bacteria, cysts, and microorganisms. And they list every single thing here, and then they list how much of it was removed. And most of these, I don't know if y'all can tell, it's not, my camera's not really focusing very well, but it's all like 99.9%. Here's one 98.7. Uh, I was just amazed by how much they're actually cleaning of your water here. It's it's quite impressive. I actually found, uh, this was came in the box, but I found this exact same information online on their website. So they're very proud of the uh, performance data that they're getting from their filters. And I gotta say, just seeing this is, is quite amazing. So. Let's see, let me take a look. Let's take a look at this filtration going on right here. Looks like we got a good bit going into there. Let's, um, give me a cup. Got my cup right here. Y'all think I can get some out of here? See, what I'm scared of is whenever I, if I leave stuff in the reservoir here and I tip it over, I'm going to end up getting all of this water and not this water. I shouldn't have put it that much. Let's see, hold on, maybe I can do, I wanna taste it. Let's, let's do this taste test, hang on. I can, uh, 
I can do it like this. Ha! Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we have pure, clean, filtered water right here from the clearly filtered pitcher. All right, moment of truth. Does it taste different from our Brita one right there? <laughs> All right, here we go. Did y'all click that thumbs up button yet? Click that thumbs up button. I definitely appreciate that. Three, two, one, do it. Um, that's good. Yeah, it's very clean, crisp. Uh, yeah, there's no like weird aftertaste, metal taste, or anything like that in there. That is a good, clean cup of water right there. Mm. I am excited about that. And what's super cool is that we usually keep our Brita pitcher on the counter right there because it doesn't fit in the refrigerator. So hot Louisiana summers, they don't get, uh, you know, we don't have cold, cold water unless we get some ice cubes. Um, but this will fit in the door of our refrigerator. So we will have clean, crisp, clear water that is cool. How many C words can we say right there? Clearly filtered. <laughs> So if you guys want to see the original unboxing that I did of this uh, that water pitcher, I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see you on that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.